Hey everyone, Firegrass here, and today we're going to be speculating about Arch Nemesis League, the new mechanic coming in patch 3.17. A couple of hours ago, we just got a brief teaser about what the new league is going to be called, and it's going to be named Arch Nemesis League. The trailer was very brief, but there's plenty to speculate based off what we got, and so I'm just going to do a short video today to sort of dive into that, and to talk about what my speculations are about what the new league might be. Probably going to be entirely wrong, but it's still worth discussing, I think. I guess everyone's first impression is that this league definitely seems to revolve around this golden statue. Now, we were shown a golden statue. It has eight hands, and this could just be absolutely wild speculation here, but this could be related to Headhunter in some way. I've already seen some people, you know, speculate that. Uh, the league appears to be revolving, you know, it, it, skulls seem to be a motif in this league. The statue has eight hands, Headhunter has eight heads, and one of these hands is holding a skull. Who knows, you know, I, I, I don't know. Maybe they could be related in some way, maybe... Maybe we're just all cracked. Um, now, the name might imply that it's boss-based, so the word Arch Nemesis typically refers to, I guess, some kind of rival, and that would indicate that there's some kind of unique mob that we are maybe, you know, seeing in a re recurring fashion, where we are facing the enemy multiple times in a map, or multiple times across multiple maps, you know, who knows. It could also be a rework to the Nemesis mechanic itself, so Nemesis, I think, was the first, or one of the first League mechanics ever added to the game. It's very old. It could definitely use an update. Uh, I guess a lot of people just think of it as a core mechanic now, not even as a league, you know, since it, it's literally just a bunch of modifiers attached to rare mobs. And this could be reworking that since, you know, there is somewhat of a case to be made that m these modifiers are a little outdated. They're not very interesting anymore, and a lot of them uh, are frustrating. So we could see a rework to how that works. And if they wanted to make it more focused, you know, focusing the power of the mechanic around a unique monster, this would be a fun way to explore that. And you, this would be a fun way to explore sequel leagues in general, where instead of calling it Nemesis Part 2, we're calling it Arch Nemesis, right? So it's clearly tied to Nemesis League, but it's building upon it. I, I think that's a really interesting thing to do, you know, if that's what it is, but we'll have to see. Um, now, I also think it's going to be a lightweight, a lightweight League mechanic. So if you look uh, in the past, when we had Conquerors of the Atlas, we got Metamorph, and when we had Echoes, we had Ritual, and I'm sure if you go back to the other expansions, you'll see similar things. Basically, when they launch an expansion, because there's so much expansion content, they typically go with a League mechanic that's very lightweight, it's very easy to interact with, easy to get rewards out of, it doesn't have these like deep you know, endgame systems the way, say, Harvest had or, you know, even Scourge, where there's just so much going on, and there's a lot to pass, and it's very overwhelming for an average player, right? So, you know, this is very much something that I think we're gonna walk up to it, interact with it, get the loot out, or the loot is just gonna, you know, like, be given to us as we clear the map or something like that. It, I don't think it's gonna be, there's gonna be, like, all these, you know, Scourge maps that we have to, like, build up and then run, nothing like that. I also think we might see the return of new League-based item enhancements, so, as I've listed here, Annoyance, Clusters, uh, Catalysts, and stuff like that. We haven't gotten any of those in a very long time. You know, like, if you look back at many of the most recent leagues, they just weren't there. You know, like, every, you know, Ritual introduced nothing, Ultimatum introduced nothing along those lines, Expedition introduced nothing along those lines, Scourge introduced the Scourge mods, but they're going. We also recently removed Parandus, which I guess didn't have any of those mechanics, but it's still a mechanic being removed from the game, and Prophecy, same thing. Uh, this could lead to some power being taken out of builds depending on what's getting removed about Prophecy. Who knows? But I, I think with the removal of b a bunch of older mechanics, the fact that some of the recent leaks haven't gone core, and also the fact that we haven't gotten any of these power creep type enhancement items in a while, this would be the perfect league to add it back. It would make this league a real winner in my opinion. People love these sorts of things. I think they were just kind of getting overwhelmed by them being added every patch. So of course they stopped and that was right to do so, but this is the perfect time to do it. GGG are in for a win, you know, they haven't had one in quite a while, and this expansion is potentially going to be an absolute banger, and this would be a great way, you know, to add a cherry on top of everything, and make it really perfect by adding, you know, some uh, some new item that we can use to enhance our gear that everyone's going to love, right? Uh, so, these are my initial impressions, now let's talk about how I think the mechanic's going to work. This is just like my best guess, this is just speculation, and it's completely baseless, I thought about this in the shower, and then I'm now recording the video, so... I could be way off. Everything here could be wrong, but, you know, speculation's fun, so uh, I'm gonna do it, right? So I think the Arch Nemesis statue is probably gonna appear three times in a map. I think appearing one time probably isn't enough. You know, like, if you full clear, if you don't full clear a map, you might miss it, and, you know, I guess this is the reason why they typically have mechanics appearing three to four times in a map rather than just one. Uh, I think each time you interact from it, you're going to get four mods and reward types. Now, I can imagine the UI being the statue holding out its eight arms, you know, four on one side,
and four on the other and maybe that like each each set of arms is a modifier and a reward maybe they're tiered based on difficulty i guess you would put this in for the sake of hardcore so the hardcore can choose some lesser options that are a little easy to do with but have lower rewards tied to them i imagine the mods are probably going to stack up you know it, it could be that the most nine to uh, the most recent nine to twelve mods that you've picked basically stack up and just keep rolling along and then this means that the encounter is getting harder but way more rewarding like if you have 12 modifiers stacked up from say the most four recent maps that you've done then you know, you're gonna get really good rewards out of this mechanic whereas you know potentially the mods go away if you die and uh that means that if you can't handle this mob you know you're not gonna get much out of this mechanic which would kind of be in line with how a lot of recent mechanics have gone okay so i think it's going to spawn a unique mob based on the modifiers you've applied to it so I, I don't know whether it's going to be multiple different like unique monster types or something or it's going to be like metamorph and very varied or maybe it's just like this one dude and it's always just this one dude throughout the league and that would be the arch nemesis right like this one unique monster is the arch nemesis and you're always encountering him just with different modifiers um in fact i think the latter is probably more likely going to happen um now we're probably gonna get extra enemies added I, I guess every league mechanic finds ways to add extra enemies into a map i'm not sure how they're gonna get added so it could be that they're added by the reward scheme so maybe one of the rewards or some of the rewards are things like extra pack size or extra you know rare mobs or something in you know in maps that are affected by this arch nemesis mod you could also have them spawned upon activation so when you activate and go to fight this unique monster it also spawns a bunch of monsters for you to fight or, or they could even spawn periodically like when you're fighting a metamorph um at certain th health thresholds to give you refreshed flasks that would make a lot of sense actually that that's probably what's going to be the case it could also just be like ritual where the monsters are spawned there and you have to clear them out before you can interact with the statue that's also fairly likely i think one of these three is the most likely way we're going to be interacting with additional monsters in the map now i think there's also the potential for modifiers to apply to rare packs instead of the unique or potentially both right if this is a rework of the nemesis mechanic it could be that we are buffing the arch nemesis and those modifiers are then also applying to all the rare monsters that we're finding throughout the maps i'm really not sure but i think it's definitely it's got the potential to be the way it works um i don't know how that's going to translate into you know the way the arch nemesis mechanic works in the future and the thing that makes me semi second guess whether this is a rework to the nemesis mechanic is that a lot of the core systems utilize the nemesis mechanic so like nemesis farming is a one of the most popular and core ways to farm items in the game now the fact that it has been in need of a rework and that that type of farm is kind of broken is why i think there's you know a good chance of this being a rework but if it does get reworked it brings into question how we're going to interact with that sort of stuff in the future so like nemesis monsters is a map mod you can just roll it on literally any map you run are we gonna be able to you know roll arch nemesis onto every map we run so maybe arch nemesis is just an additional mechanic on top of the existing nemesis maybe it's not i, I don't know I, i've thought about both ways and i could see them working in both ways you know maybe arch nemesis just goes core immediately and it's just like permanently in the game and accessible as a map mod or you know maybe they're gonna remove all the ne nemesis stuff completely out of the game and arch nemesis is the only way we're going to interact with uh you know what is now the replacement for nemesis so yeah that's how i think it's going to work um i won't be surprised if all of this is wrong right it could go either way we are literally just uh, speculating based off this statue <laughs> that's all we were given and uh we, we were given a name and a, an image of a statue pretty much and so i i think this is the best we can do with what we have but don't be surprised if i'm completely off base if you like this video, give me a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys probably tomorrow.